Hello, this is uh, Chuck. I am uh, Dr. Chuck. I am talking to you today about uh, IMS Learning Tools Interoperability, and uh, I'm excited to sort of show the first uh, implementation, even though it's not complete, but it's at least got a decent user interface of IMS Learning Tools Interoperability 2.0. And so I'm going to show this to you inside Sakai. Uh, this is uh, not in trunk yet, it's sitting in a branch. Um, so uh, these are the external tools that are in the system. These are the tool placements that are in sites. We can add an LTI 1.1 tool, and that's the classic um, URL, key, secret, a uh, whole bunch of custom parameters, and other things. And so that's the classic LTI 1.1. Uh, LTI 2 is a little bit simpler. Um, you put in the title, and I'll share some data with this guy, and I will go to a launch URL, a, a registration URL, which is different than a launch URL. A registration URL is a URL that's used to, in, to install the tool, not to actually launch the tool. The tool installs itself and sets a bunch of data. So I'm going to hit save, and now it's, it's created a tool, but it's in progress at this point. I actually have to go to this and send this registration URL some data. So I'm still inside Sakai. When I hit register, um, this is still Sakai. This is the debug output. And these are the parameters I'm going to send to that tool. Um, they're a little bit different than um, the other parameters on a launch because it's we're setting up to do a registration. So now I'm going to go to the external tool. This is the external tool. You can see it, it got data, it retrieved what's called a consumer profile, it, re, it did a registration request, and it did a registration. And if you look over here, you see a bunch of chatter in my, uh, my Sakai log as all that's happening. So this blue means I'm talking to the external tool, whether it's a publisher site or, or whatever. But this tool has just installed itself and set a secret. And so I come back to Sakai by clicking here. Normally, there would have just been a redirect. And it says, welcome back from registration. I'm back in Sakai. I've got an LTI 2 tool. And it's got a key to secret and a launch URL, which is different from the registration URL. This now came in via web services. So all this stuff was populated by web services. Um, and there's a negotiation for services. Uh, this is some pr launch parameters that the tool has now asked me to send it and it sent this registration profile. It has things like message handlers, etc. So this tool is now completed. The registration, the data that we would normally have um, in this sample tool, this data came from the web services. Okay, And so that's what's cool about LTI 2 is it's got all the same data and even more than LTI 1, but instead of hand moving this data back and forth, we um, we use web services to move it back and forth. So I've now got this tool called Sample, um, and I am going to uh, put it in a site. Well, let's see. Let me edit Sample here and make it visible. I think it is visible. It is visible. OK. So we'll get out of here. So let me just go into a site. and see if this part works. And so I will go into site info. I will edit tools. It's as if a new tool has been plugged into the system. So these are just the list of the built-in tools. These are the list of the plug-in tools. Sample is a new tool. And so I can add it to my website. I get some parameters I can set. And there we go. And so there's sample. And so that's the tool. So now you saw me go all the way to the point where I used LTI2 to install the tool in the system as the administrator. And then I basically did in site info a in edit tools that basically added this into my site. And so I can treat it like any other tool. Uh, this new plugin tools is sort of a the next version of Sakai and it's starting to look really nice. So um, I don't think there's anything else I meant to talk to you about. Um, I've still got this in a branch, and, uh, and so that's it. Have a nice day. Cheers.